There are three species of lizard native to Great Britain, the sand lizard, common lizard, and slowworm. They are all exothermic, relying on the environment to warm their bodies. Because of this, they often prefer south facing slopes. Habitats with diverse makeup allow them to seek warmth in open areas, as well as having shelter from the elements and predators, with lots of insects to eat. Sand lizards are the rarest lizards found in England and Wales, with 95% of the population living in lowland peaks, and the remainder is found in sand dunes. Common lizards are widespread across England, Scotland and Wales, and live in a wide variety of habitats, such as heathlands, moorlands, grasslands, woodlands, glades, coastal habitats, stables, and allotments. Slow worms are widely distributed in England, Scotland and Wales, and also enjoy a wide range of habitats, such as heathlands, moorlands, grasslands, brownfield sites and allotments as well. Their distribution is patchy in the north, and they are found in their highest numbers in southern England. Our lizards are declined in the latter half of the 20th century. Their biggest threat is habitat loss, through changes in land management and land use. For example, common lizards have declined rapidly through tidying up of urban green spaces. All of Britain's lizards have some legal protection. Sand lizards are a European protected species, and common lizards and slowworms are protected by UK law. They are covered by two main pieces of legislation in England and Wales, the Wildlife and Countryside Act, and the Conservation of Habitats and Species Regulation. And in Scotland, they are protected by the Nature Conservation Act. This means you can't capture, disturb, injure, trade, or kill any of the UK native lizard species. You can't disturb them from a resting place or use for shelter. These crimes can carry a maximum six months prison sentence or a fine. If you are developing a site which is suitable for lizards, then you'll need an ecologist to do a reptile survey to support your planning application. There are lists of available ecologists from the Chartered Institute of Ecology and Environmental Management Directory, or from the Environmental Data Services Directory. They will produce observer reports and a mitigation plan, which will go to your architect or building firm to help support your planning application. Reptile surveys are carried out from March through to September, but the best time is spring as reptiles bask for longer and cooler temperatures, making them easier to see and catch. There are two survey methods, visual surveys and artificial refuge searches. Visual surveys of sites are carried out by looking at suitable contact spots, and artificial refuge searches are simply fitting out materials such as corrugated iron or roofing spells, which warm in the sun and attract reptiles as they look for warm spots to bask in. If you can't avoid impacting the your activities, then you will need to carry out some form of mitigation. Recommended mitigation could include changing the layout so as to avoid developing areas used by reptiles, displacing them from sensitive areas by changing the vegetation, changing the timing of the work, moving the reptiles to another area, or temporary fencing. Compensation methods can include creating them to other habitats, creating new habitats, or improving existing habitats. To carry out this work, you need a licence from the relevant nature conservation body, such as Natural England, SNH, or NRW. Your ecologist will stay with you throughout your project to ensure that all the mitigation requirements are met. Thank you for watching. If you wish to learn more about these surveys, please follow the links below or visit us at abrahartecology.com. Created using Powtoon.